Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video is going to be another nest with me video. I am moving on to downstairs now in the kitchen and the living room. So I'm kind of all over the place in this video. Um, hopefully you can keep up with me. I'm doing bottle prep, pump part cleaning, sterilizing, getting the kitchen cabinet ready, um, getting stuff ready in the living room, and also making some quick and easy lactation cookies for you guys. So I hope that you enjoy watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you're new and subscribe if you haven't already. And let's go ahead and get started.
so here is the bassinet and pack and play all set up and organized i did this with my first and it was just so helpful to have everything right here that you need i've got some diaper cream hand sanitizer my little diaper caddy filled with diapers and wipes and more waterproof changing mats and i just put some gas drops and gripe water in this pocket here i remember being downstairs um, majority of the time with my first and I even slept down here for a while in the beginning so I wanted to have just everything else that I needed down here as well as upstairs so I have extra clothes swaddles burp cloths nursing covers all of that good stuff that you need right here and handy and it just makes life so much easier especially if you are kind of stuck to the living room for a while after baby I'm not yours anymore, no, I'm not yours, so why are you trying to hold on, to hold on, when I'm not there for you, wanna take a different lane, wanna play my own game, and I don't need you here, so won't you let me go, why take this ball and chain, that you have put on me, and throw it out the window, I think that you should Now I'm just washing all of my bottles, pacifiers, pump parts. These are all from my new breast pump that I just unboxed through my insurance. I got the Spectra this time and I'm really excited. I hope that it works well for me this go around. And I do still have all of my Medela parts and um, bottles I'm going to be kind of mixing in and using as well. So I'm just getting everything washed with warm soapy water and I'm going to sterilize everything. And yeah, that's what I'm doing here. And I'm just going to get this all ready to go and then I'll kind of go through all the pieces and see what I'm going to use and not use but I wanted to just have everything handy. I do still have a Medela hand pump that I'm going to be using so I went ahead and just washed all the parts for the Medela stuff as well.
Okay, now that I let those air dry, I am moving on to this kitchen cabinet here. I just need to rearrange and kind of move everything up one shelf. So all of my toddler's cups and things like that, I'm going to go through, clean out, and move up one. So I have the whole bottom level for bottles and pump parts and things like that. So that's what I'm doing is just kind of cleaning out this cabinet again and rearranging it to get it all prepped for bottle stuff. I have one of these Lazy Susans in my pantry and um, it's perfect for snacks, but I decided to get another one and use it in this cabinet for all of my pump parts and storage bags. I thought it would make a really good organizer for the kitchen cabinet and I can just turn it and I don't have to pull everything out and dig for what I'm looking for. So I'm just kind of fitting all the pieces in here. Some of the stuff is a little bulky and awkward, but I love how it turned out and makes life a little bit more easy to see what you're trying to grab in the, in the cabinet. So I will link this Lazy Susan down below, but I got it off of Amazon. And like I said, I have one in the pantry too, and it's amazing for snacks and organizing. Now I'm just making a little breastfeeding basket to keep down in the living room um, next to the couch. I have it underneath um, the side table with my breast pump. So I just had this random basket laying around. I'm adding some ibuprofen, some breast pads, um, my extra haka, nipple balm, nipple shields, and two little packs of those um, lactation cookies that are already pre-made. And I just wanted to keep this little basket handy while I'm breastfeeding on the couch. I have access to stuff like this. Upstairs, I already did the one in my bedroom, in my nightstand. So this was all my extras to keep in the living room. Even though it hurts, I won't 
All right, now I'm just gonna make a quick batch of lactation cookies. I know there's a ton of recipes out there online and on Pinterest, I've saved a bunch, but I just went ahead and grabbed this mix from Mommy Knows Best, and it's already mixed up together, which is great, so you don't have to go out and get all of the separate ingredients. It's already ready to go. This is just an oatmeal chocolate chip lactation cookie mix. I got it off of Amazon. Um, they do have some other things. I think they have a brownie one, and I'm not really sure what else, but um, I'll link it down below. And like I said, this was just quick and easy for me to go ahead and get some started and in the freezer. That way I'd have them ready, and then I'll make more and probably try some other recipes throughout my breastfeeding journey again this go around. But I wanted to have a little bag of cookies already frozen, made and frozen in the freezer that I can pull out when I want a couple bites or whatever. So that's what I'm doing now to finish up this video is just mixing up this batch of cookies and I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you. 